Let me show you why Annex is super fast. So here I have a workspace with the React app in it, which I'll build now. Right? If I run the same build command again, Annex not only will figure out that the source code of the app hasn't changed, right? but that the this folder still matches the current source code. And that's what this method shows. Uh, the command took less than 200 millis, and it would have taken 200 millis, even if the repo was 100 times as big, and we tried to build dozens of apps instead of one, right? Let's now uh, make the change to the dist. An next daemon will, uh, that runs in the background, will notice this change. So if I run the same build command again, an next will know the source code hasn't changed, but the dist has. So it needs to restore everything from cache, right? So our next is super fast, like seven times faster than Turbo Repo, for example, uh, because it's able to skip a lot of computation. And whatever it cannot skip, it tries to run in the background and in advance, such that you as a user don't see the cost, right? It's all pre-computed. Let me give you another example. Uh, say you use an xCloud, which you should as well, right? Because it will make your CI a lot faster. So when you use an xCloud, an x will have to upload file artifacts associated with this command and some metadata about your run to an xCloud, right? So you can, for instance, see this handy UI and that remote caching works and stuff like that, right? We can only upload this, of course, when we are done building the app. We need the files, right? So what Annex will do, it's going to terminate the process the moment the build is done, right? And it will do all the uploading in Annex daemon, so you don't have to wait for it. Again, the work is done somewhere, but you as a user don't see it, so everything is super fast.